Hello my fellow yogis and movers, my name is Laura and welcome to the High Energy Fusion Yoga YouTube channel. Today's class is a 45 minute flow designed to kind of get into everything. A little bit of strength, a little bit of core work, a little bit of stability work, and definitely a little bit of inversion work. So all you need today are two blocks. Once you grab that, let's get started. So to start, we're gonna bring our knees together, separate our feet, grab a block. You can either go lowest level with the block or what I'm gonna do is kind of go the medium height or what I like to call the motel height. The motel, hotel height. Sitting up nice and tall on the block, bringing your hands to rest gently on our thighs. Take a moment to pull the belly in. Maybe take one shoulder roll up towards the ears and then lower them down. Bringing the chin parallel to the ground, closing the eyes down, just starting to center ourselves and getting ready for our practice today. So to start, just taking five deep breaths in and out. So take a deep breath in, filling up through the belly, the chest, the throat. Open your mouth, let it on go. Take a deep breath in. Side on out. Couple more. And one more. Slowly opening the eyes, coming back into your room. Reaching back behind you, clasping all 10 fingers together. Keeping the palms together, just start to lengthen and strengthen and straighten the arms out, hands going down towards the ground. But as you do so, be mindful, pull the belly in. Breathing. And especially if you're doing this in the morning, you might feel a little bit extra tight. And then slowly bringing a slight bend to your elbows. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, bring your hands over towards your right hip. Hugging the elbows in, slowly lower that right ear towards that right shoulder. If it feels good to you, you can even kind of add a little bit of movement here. So chin down towards the chest and extend it up, maybe looking up towards the ceiling. Just moving slow, warming up the body. Then inhale, coming back to center. Then on the exhale, bringing the hands over towards the left hip, hugging the elbows in, pulling the belly in, and then lowering that left ear towards that left shoulder. And again, maybe finding a little bit of movement down and up. Once again, inhale, bring it to center. And as you exhale, release. Removing the block from underneath you. Once again, coming back onto all fours. Bring the knees together. Bring the big toes to touch this time and then tuck the toes underneath. Walking the hands back and having a seat on your heels. You will start to feel this right away. It's okay, if it gets too intense, you can always bring your hands down and then start to tap the tops of your feet down just to shake it out. So coming back into that seated position, right, stretching our soles and our toes out. We're gonna inhale, lift the arms up, palms are facing in towards one another, and then draw the shoulders down away from your ears. Spreading the fingers wide, open them, and then close them. Open, close, open, close, faster. So I like to call this milking the cosmic cow. So opening and closing, opening and closing, waking up our hands and our forearms. Yes, everything is going to start to hurt. Forearms, arms, feet, keep breathing. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and 
one, shake it out. Hands come down, tap, tap out the top through your feet. Okay, we have one more round. You can do it. So tuck the toes under once again. Sit up on your heels. Lift the arms up, spread the fingers, draw the shoulders down and away from your ears. Open, close, open, close. Faster, faster. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Tap out the top to your feet. I'm going to move to the side here so you can see me now. I'm going to move my blocks off to the side as well. So setting up in tabletop position, all fours. Shoulders stacking over the heels of the hands or hips or over your knees. Inhale, arch of the belly gaze up. Exhale, round, push the ground away, look towards your belly button. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, rotate your fingertips toward the side of your mat. We're going to take that two more times. So inhale, arch. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale. Exhale, push the round away a little bit more. Inhale, back to neutral. And as you exhale, rotate your fingertips towards your knees. If it bothers you, go back out to the side. Last two times. So inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale, create space in between those shoulders. Hold this one. Keeping the round in your upper back, walk your knees forward towards your fingertips. And then keeping the hands on the mat, lower your hips down towards your heels. You can find a little bit of movement here, side to side. You can do little circles, whatever feels good. And then sit on your heels, gently shake it out. Pretend that you're flipping water at someone or sparkly fairy dust, I like to say that. Pretend that you're a Jedi, clasp your hand, grabbing your lightsaber, and you're gonna kind of do figure eights one way. And then the hardest thing you'll do all class, try to change directions. Not the same. Roller coaster, one way. Roller coaster, the other way. And then one more thing, chicken. Tops of the hands alongside of the rib cage, fingertips are back. Gently press the elbows back. And then gently shake it out one more time. I'm just gonna move my blocks forward. We're going to take a couple of moving thread the needles for the shoulder. So coming back onto all fours. Inhale, lifting the right arm up. Look up. Lengthen and open. Exhale, slide behind the left. Inhale, lift that left arm up towards the sky. And exhale, back up, tabletop. Two more times on that side. So inhale, right arm reaches up, open up the chest. Exhale, slide it behind the left. Inhale that left arm up, and exhale back up, tabletop. This time we're going to hold it, so inhale right arm up, exhale, slide it behind. Inhale that left arm up and hold, exhale, rotate the left palm behind you, you're going to bend the left elbow, left hand is going to reach for the right hip crease. So focusing on this left shoulder, head is neutral, you can close your eyes for a moment, breathe. Then inhale that left arm up. Exhale, starting point, tabletop. Moving on to the other side, inhale, left arm reaches up, look up, open up the chest. Exhale, slide behind the right. Inhale that right arm up now, and exhale, tabletop. Inhale, left arm, exhale, slide it behind. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, tabletop. Last one, we hold this one. So inhale, left arm up. Exhale, slide behind the right. Inhale, that right arm up, hold. Rotate the palm behind you, bend the right elbow. Right hand looks for the left hip crease. So we're focusing on our right shoulder this time, head is neutral. You can close your eyes for a moment, breathe. And 
inhale that right arm up and exhale back up tabletop from tabletop position fingers are comfortably spread wide walk your knees back a few inches tuck your toes press into your hands lift your hips with your knees downward facing dog so it might be the first down dog of your day start to pedal out the feet take your doggy for a little walk your doggy for a little jog, pedal off the feet a little bit quicker, start to get the blood moving. Coming to stillness, come high into the ball of the feet, and now without moving the feet, bring your heels over to the right side of your mat, then to the left. Back over to the right, and to the left. Then as you pivot from side to side, bend your knees deeply, belly toward the thighs, side to side, crouching yogi. And then just taking a moment to find anything in your down dog that feels good to you. You can shake out your head, you can shimmy out your shoulders, you can kind of twerk your dog, which some of my students love to do. Right, so anything that feels good, it starts to loosen your body up. And then coming to stillness just for a moment. Hips are high. If you have tight hamstrings, you can always find a slight bend in your knees. Tilt the booty up, the hips up, and then start to straighten the legs out. Heels going down towards the ground. And inhale, come high to the balls of the feet. Bend your knees, belly on the thighs. Knees are hovering. Exhale, child's pose. Knees touch down, hips to heel. Inhale, look toward the top of your mat. You're going to pull your belly and body through, lifting your heart, elbows lift, baby cobra. And then exhale, passing through, child's pose, downward facing dog. So taking that one more time. Inhale, crouching yogi, belly onto thighs. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, pull the body through, elbows are lifted, baby cobra. And then exhale, passing through child's pose, downward facing dog. From here, inhale, roll out to plank. Exhale, bend the knees, hips go high, roll it back down dog. Two more times, inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, roll it back. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Before moving to the top of the mat, take your feet as wide as your mat. And then take your hands to the edge of your mat, gripping onto the edge. Press your forehead down towards the mat, maybe hitting five point dog. Ugh. And then slowly bring your hands back into your down dog stance. Inhale, look forward, come high into the balls of the feet. And then keeping the hands rooted on the mat, start to tiptoe towards the top of your mat. Bend your knees if it's getting a little bit more difficult. And then feet are about hips width. Bend your knees, grip onto opposite elbows, round down. Just take a moment to sway your torso from side to side. Shake your head out, yes. Shake your head out, no. Take your head out, yes, again, always end on a positive. And then shift your weight towards your toes, allow your toes to grip the mat. And then gently back towards your heels, digging your heels in slightly. Then releasing your elbows, bigger bend in your knees, rise up as slowly as you can, your head being the last thing to come on up. Roll your shoulders back a few times. Roll them forward. And then bring your chin down towards your chest. Roll your head gently to the right once, twice. And go to the left once, and twice. <sighs> Grab your blocks. 
You're gonna place your blocks either motel height, which is kind of like the medium height, or you can even go ground floor with your blocks. If you have really tight hamstrings, feel free to go hotel height. Blocks are to the outside edges of your feet. So you're gonna stand in between the blocks, big toes to touch, hands to heart center. Let's start to move. So inhale, lift the arms all the way up, look up, walk the palms touch. Exhale, slight bend your knees, forward fold, hands onto the blocks. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, step that left foot all the way back. Inhale, start to sink the hips. Then as you exhale, pull that right leg straight, right toes are lifted, bend the left knee, and you're gonna bow. Inhale, pull forward back into that lunge. Exhale, pull it back, rocking pyramids. Inhale, forward. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale, forward and hold this one. Exhale, lift that right arm up, twist. Air guitar circle, back edge of the mat, once, twice, three times. Go forward now, once, twice. Three times. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale, move the blocks a little bit off your mat, downward facing dog. Inhale, crouching yogi, belly on the thighs. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, pull the heart through, baby cobra, maybe even full cobra. Exhale, pass it through, child's pose, downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale, lift that right leg high into the air, three-point dog. Exhale, right knee, right tricep, tap. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, left tricep, twist. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, right tricep. Still going. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Lift the hips higher, inhale. Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. You can kind of move your leg up if you need to. Lower the left knee onto the mat, untuck the back toes. Inhale, rise up. Now as you exhale, bend the elbows, grip onto opposite elbows. Head moves through the arms, chest out, pull the belly in, sink the hips. Breathe. And inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, fingertips find the floor, left foot forward to meet the right. Blocks back on. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lift all the way up, look up, watch your palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Hands onto the blocks. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right foot steps all the way back. Now we're back into that lunge. So inhale, sink the hips. Exhale, pull it back, left leg straight, left toes up, right knee bends back. Inhale, pull it forward. Exhale, back. One more time, inhale, forward. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale, forward, hold. Exhale, left arm up this time. Air guitar, back edge of the mat, once, twice, three times. Go forward, once. Twice, three times. Inhale that left arm up. Exhale, move the blocks off to the side. Downward facing dog. Inhale, roll it out to plank. Exhale, roll it back down dog. Inhale, forward. Exhale, pull it back. One more time. Inhale, forward, holding this one. Exhale, lower halfway chaturanga. Inhale, flip the toes, upward facing dog. Exhale, back over the toes, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Inhale, that left leg high into the air, three-point dog. Exhale, left tricep, tap. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, right tricep, twist. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Left tricep, tap. Inhale. Knee to nose, hold this one, lift the hips higher, inhale. 
Exhale, left foot in between your hands, over the right knee onto the mat, untuck the back toes. Inhale, rise up. Then as you exhale, bend the elbows, change the crossing of your arms if you can remember. Head moves through the arms, chest out, belly in, sink the hips. Then inhale, the arms straight. Exhale, fingertips find the floor. You can step your right foot to meet the left. Maybe come back onto the blocks. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lift all the way up. Look up, watch palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. So you can continue to use the blocks. I'm just going to move them off to the side so you can see me a little bit better. Coming back here. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees. Coming back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment here. And slowly lower to your knees, taking a child's pose. Then walking the hands back up for a moment, have a look at me. So today we're going to work on what we call prancing dogs. It's a way to shift the weight onto your hands so that you start to build strength and a little bit of confidence to start to get up onto your hands. So to start, we always kind of set ourselves up in our downward facing dog. So hands are shoulder width distance apart. Fingertips are gripping the mat. Fingers are comfortably wide. Think about index fingers, your pointer fingers are parallel to each other. And then as best as you can, you want to lock out your arms. So even as you're moving up into your prancing dog, do you want your arms to remain straight and strong? So from here, setting that up, coming into downward facing dog. Walking the feet in, big toes to touch high into the balls of the feet. Okay, so all your power is going to come from that one leg that's going to be on the ground. And we're going to inhale that right leg high into the air. Exhale, bring that knee in towards your nose, push the ground away. Keeping the round in your upper back, inhale, looking down in between the thumbs. And then as you exhale, we're going to shoot that right leg up and bend the left knee. So it looks like this. So inhale, exhale, come back down. So again, inhale, exhale, leap, heel in. Now don't worry if you're not going as high. What I want you to focus on is pushing the ground away, keeping your belly in, keeping a hollow in your body, not letting yourself open up an arch. So it could be here. Inhale, exhale, right here. Okay? So set yourself up in your downward facing dog. Check in with your hands, arms are straight. Walking the feet in, big toes to touch, high into the balls of the feet. I like to say, woo, as I go up. It helps you breathe out. It helps you tighten your core. So even though I'm alone right now, I'm gonna, woo, really loud. So inhale, right leg high into the air. Exhale, knee to nose, push the ground away. Inhale, look in between the thumbs. Exhale, woo, come back down. Inhale, exhale, woo. One more time, inhale, exhale, woo. Child's pose. If you scream a lot of, maybe you're me a little, kind of be wondering what you're doing over there. So what we do on the right, we're gonna do on the left. If the right side felt a little bit awkward, your left might feel a little bit more natural to you. So setting up in tabletop, coming into down dog, walking the feet in, big toes to touch, high into the balls of the feet. Inhale, left leg high into the air. Exhale, knee to nose, push the ground away. Inhale, looking in between the thumbs. Exhale, woo, bending the right knee this time. So inhale, exhale, woo. One more time, inhale, exhale, Pose. 
and slowly making your way downward facing dog. Are you sweating? Because I'm sweating. <laughs> Inhale, look forward and high to the balls of the feet. And then exhale, just hop up to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lift all the way up. Look up, don't touch. Don't touch. Exhale, have a seat into your chair pose. So sink the hips, stretch your weight towards your heels. You can always separate your knees and your thighs and your feet. So get a little bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale, we're coming into boat pose. Bend knee boat pose. So chest is lifting, hands going towards the feet. You can point the toes if you want to. Inhale, lower into half boat. Exhale, back up. Inhale, hands behind the thighs, roll back. Exhale, chair. Inhale, lower it. Exhale, boat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, back up. Inhale, hands behind the thighs, roll back. Exhale, chair. Inhale, lower one more time. Exhale, boat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, back up. Hands behind, inhale, roll back. Exhale, chair. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back over the toes, downward facing dog. Breathe here. So when you hit your down dog, try to reset your breath every time. And inhale, lift the right leg high into the air. Exhale, right tricep tap. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, left tricep twist. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Lift your hips higher, inhale. Exhale, right foot between your hands, stand the ball of the back foot. You're gonna grab a block now. Inhale, rise up into high lunge. So to start, make sure that your feet are not on a tightrope. It's gonna be harder to hold. So separate the feet, lengthen your stance, forward and back. And then press through that left heel. Try to straighten out that left leg as best as you can. Then taking your palm to the long um, side edges of the block, lift it up overhead. Draw the shoulders down and away from your ears. Hold. Whew. So keep squeezing that block. Keep pushing through that left heel. Hold. It's going to start to burn. Then find a spot on the floor to focus on. Start to think about that right leg. And inhale, straighten out the right leg. Try to pick up the right toes, squeeze the inner thighs. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, straighten. Try to pick up those right toes, squeeze. Exhale, rebend. One more time. Inhale, straighten, squeeze. Exhale, rebend. Focusing on the left leg this time. Inhale, bend, tap it down. Exhale, push through that left heel. Two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lean forward, now bring that block to your chest. And as you exhale, slide that left foot forward, coming into a warrior three. Think about left toes pointing down. Find stability through that right foot. Inhale, bend that right knee. Exhale, straighten. Woo. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Holding the block in the right hand. Bend. Inhale. Exhale. Set it down. Heel to arch. Inhale. Warrior one. A warrior two. Holding that block. Back foot parallel to the back edge of the mat. Bending deeply into that right leg. Hold. We're not here that long. And inhale, straighten out that right leg. Exhale, lean forward, lean forward, block to the outside edge of the right foot. Triangle pose. My favorite standing posture. So think about straight line from fingertip to fingertip, and then lengthening through that right side body, making the sides equal.
Then leaving the block on the ground, slide bending the right knee. Inhale, back up, warrior two. And exhale, downward facing dog. Ah. Inhale, roll it out to plank. Exhale, lower half plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Round two of our prancing dogs. Walk your feet in one or two steps, just doing the right side this time. Inhale, right leg high into the air. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, look in between the thumbs. Exhale, woo! Inhale, exhale, woo! One more time, inhale, exhale, Inhale, left leg high into the air. Exhale, left tricep. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, right tricep twist. Then inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold, lift your hips higher. Inhale. Exhale, left foot in between your hands. Hand the ball to the back foot. We're grabbing that block. Rising up, high to lunge. So again, check your stance. Make sure your feet are not on a tight rope. Hold the block, draw the shoulders down, push through that right heel. Holding, breathing, sweating. <laughs> now focusing on the ground. So you're gonna inhale, straighten out that left leg, pick up the left toes, squeeze, exhale, rebend. Inhale, straighten, pick up the toes, exhale, rebend. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, re bend. Focusing on the right leg. Inhale, bend the right knee, tap it down. Exhale, push through that right heel. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the block to heart center, leaning forward. Inhale. Exhale, slide the right foot forward, stepping up into your warrior three. Now think about right toes pointing down. Lift the heel up, pull the belly in. Square off the hips. Finding a little bit of movement here. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Taking the block into the left hand. Inhale, bend the left knee. As you exhale, right foot steps down, heel to arch. Inhale, warrior two. You check your stance. Make sure your back foot is parallel to the back edge of the mat. Holding here, strong. Bend the left knee. Inhale, straighten out that left leg. And as you exhale, lean forward. Kick that right hip back. Block comes to the outside edge of that left foot. Right arm reaches up. Triangle pose. So again, try to lengthen through each side of the body. Don't round into it, lengthen. Straight line from fingertip to fingertip. Then leaving the block on the ground, slight bend in that left knee. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll it up to plank. Exhale, lower half plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Last round of fairy dogs. Walk your feet in. Or prancing dogs, I should say. Inhale, left leg high into the air. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, look in between the thumbs. Exhale, shoot the left. Bend the right. Woo! Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale, woo! Child's pose. And take a deep breath in. Flutter your legs. 
downward facing dog. Last little bit of work. Bring the big toe to touch. Inhale, look forward, bend. Exhale, come up to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift all the way up, look up. Watch the palm touch. Exhale, back into your chair pose. Sink so down a little bit deeper. Inhale, exhale, boat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, sleeping crow. Hands toward the ceiling, knees toward the arms. Inhale, back into extended boat. Exhale, back up. Inhale, you can come up into chair without rolling back. Exhale, crow pose. Hands touch down, high into the balls of the feet. Knees connect to the backs of the arms. Maybe clap the feet together. Inhale, back into chair. Exhale, boat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, sleeping crow. Inhale, extended. Exhale, boat. Inhale, chair. Exhale, crow. Last time, inhale, chair. Exhale, boat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, sleeping crow. Inhale, up. Exhale, boat. Inhale, chair. Exhale, crow. Hold it, three, two, one. Maybe shoot it back, jump it back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lower to your knees. And slowly coming into down dog, just finishing off with a couple of hip openers. Then inhale that right leg high into the air. Exhale, bring your right knee behind the right wrist. Right shin will come down. Scoot that left leg far back behind you. Soaring off your hips and shoulders. Inhale. And exhale, slowly folding down over that right shin. Here, you're going to grab your block, any height with the block. 
slide it underneath you. The block will come pretty much right above your butt crack. Make sure the block is flat on the mat so that you can kind of just let your body drape over the block. You can stay here. You can bring your arms up overhead, grab it on top of the elbows above your head. You can also deepen it by extending the legs out, coming onto the heels. And close your eyes, bringing your focus to your breath. Just allowing gravity to do the work for you. One of my favorite ways to end my practice. And you just stay here for another three or four deep breaths. You're gonna slowly rebend your knees if they're straight. Bring your arms back down alongside of you if they're above you. You're gonna press into your feet once again, lift your hips off the block. And then remove the block, slowly rolling on down. Take a moment to kind of windshield wipe the legs from side to side. So a little bit more work here, just a little bit. And then once again, set yourself up, feet are hips width. Be able to grab the backs of your heels with your fingertips. Hands, palms are facing down alongside of you. Working to squeeze the glute as you go up. So inhale, press into the heels, lift up, squeeze the butt. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and hold this one. If you can, clasp your hands beneath you. Draw the shoulder blades in towards one another and then press into the outside edges of the hands. Lift the hips up. Squeeze the thighs together. Don't let them roll out. Inhale, and exhale, slowly release down. One more time, windshield wipe from side to side. And extending the arms out alongside of you, bring your knees up, inhale. As you exhale, bump your hips over to the right, let your knees fall to the left. Try to have your knees in line with your belly button and you can either gaze up towards your ceiling or you can shift and look over towards your right hand. Inhale, coming back up to center. Exhale, bump your hips over to the left and knees will go to the right. Again, make sure that your knees pretty much in line with your belly button. You can gaze up, you can gaze over towards the left hand, you can close your eyes. Inhale up to center and exhale, happy baby, flex the feet. Grab onto the outside edges of the feet, 
gently draw the knees down. Try to keep your booty heavy towards the mat. You can gently rock from right to left. And keeping the right leg in, happy baby. Shift your weight to the right side. Extend the left leg out straight. Rebend the left knee. Shift your weight to the left side. Extend the right leg out. Baby, extend both legs out. Slowly give yourself one final hug and extend the legs out on your mat. You can bring your heels as wide as your mat. Let your toes gently pull out to the side. Arms alongside of you, palms facing up. To start, just press into your legs for a moment. Lift your booty up and then just start to lengthen your spine back down onto the ground. Closing the eyes. Just start to bring your focus back to your body. So taking a full body scan, so starting from the crown of your head, down through your neck and shoulders, all the way down and out through all 10 fingers. And allow your thoughts to drift down through your neck, your shoulders, and your chest, and your belly, all the way down to the hips, and then all the way down and out through all ten toes. Just taking note of how differently your body feels after movement and breath and flow and stretch. And then bring your focus to your breath. Just taking the final moment to mindfully even out your inhales and your exhales. So counting to four as we breathe in. Counting to four as we breathe out. Just taking these next few moments on your mat to find a little bit of peace in your body, in your breath, and in your mind. Feel free to stay here as long as you would like. And if you're ready to move, you can start to wiggle your fingers, maybe your toes. Just starting to bring awareness back into your body. And extend your arms all the way up, reaching all the way up through the fingertips, down to your toes. And then slowly rolling onto your right side, 
can use your right arm as a pillow for a moment. Stay here. Keeping the eyes closed and using as little effort as possible. Slowly rise up to a comfortable seat on your mat. And bring your hands together at heart center, bowing your chin down towards your chest. Just taking a final moment of honor and gratitude for getting on your mat today and for doing something for your mind, your body, and your soul. Take a deep breath in, sigh it on out. Thank you for allowing me to guide you in your practice. With all the love and light in me, I bow to you and say, Namaste.